Oh, Laura, I've been lucky enough to be at Greenwich House to, to see these, uh, these programs. But uh, what I, I'd like to know how you let members know about, about these programs. And, and I know part of this was um, helped by the fact that you have an ongoing wellness call program. So I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the, uh, the wellness calls and, and how it might have uh, uh, led into creating some of these online arts programs. Any type of art or recreational program that we could bring on Zoom, we did. So we started that immediately. Then when we started um, our, our wellness calls, we realized that there were a lot of artists and a lot of seniors that really missed the arts and doing art and, and the visual arts part of it. So, so what, we, what we actually did at that point is we created a gallery on our website that was any see older adult that was creating art at home could submit their artwork and we would post it on the gallery. You had the Shakespeare and the comedy class going. Yes. Uh, what, was, what was that transition like from, from the uh, point of view of the teaching artists and from the participants? So the comedy class and the Shakespeare class were, are enormously popular on Zoom. So much so that Shakespeare class has about 75 students in the class wow. and they come all the way they, they view it from the United Kingdom, from Maryland, from Washington, from all over. And the comedy class was on Monday at 10 a.m. And when she first started, we said, well, who's going to come into our senior center on Monday at 10 a.m.? And we had about 15, 16 people. And now it's swelled to probably 30 people on a Monday. We just had an AP um, come in and do a whole story about the class. And it's really, um, it's really successful. You know, and then we had um, a visual art class. We had a watercolor drawing class. And obviously we had a little bit of a hard time with that. So what we did is we took a couple of weeks and talked to the teacher and we changed that class to an art history class. So she shows her artwork or she researches photographs and she, she'll put it on the screen and we have a, a nice little art history class. Laura, what was the... Um... What was the challenge originally with the visual arts class? The challenge is, and still is, that there are people that do not have internet connection and there are people that do not know how to use Zoom. And that's, that is a challenge. Uh, it's easy for a teacher to bring program to Zoom or to Teams or whatever online program, but it's harder to find, to get older adults that really love to actually physically do artwork they can't do it in this setting, the setting at home. Any, any other um, surprising successes that you, you've seen uh, or were they expected? Well, the su surprising success was the digital photography class because this Sukasa class was supposed to happen in-house. We actually had 30 cameras still sitting in my office. We were all ready to start the class and we had to move it to online. And, and that was a success because we had so many people so interested in that. And they, they had a culminating event online. We also have another program that we're doing right now uh, called T Together We Count with artists from all over. Artists are coming in and being matched with some of our older adults. And once they form um, like a, a little hub or a little uh, cohort, of maybe four or five of them, they're either taking it on Zoom or Skype or FaceTime or even phone, depending on, depending on the artist. So we are, like you, like you mentioned, Ed, we're trying to bring as many art programs as we can to the seniors during this, this pandemic time.